This week, 170 new stalls were installed throughout the United States and Canada, bringing the total stall count to 59,220. Mercedes-Benz Charging Network added one station, but it looks to be only a partial opening. Pilot Flying J added six. Loves added one. Tesla added four. Electrify America added two. ChargePoint added 26. EVgo added 122, but it actually looks to be just data cleanup. And there's actually only one station, I think, that actually got added because these two numbers here didn't really change. So... I'm thinking they just took a whole bunch out and they added a whole bunch of new ones. I'll get to that in just a second. Um, EV Connect added two, but it should be noted that their station count and stall count both decreased rather significantly. The Rivian Adventure Network added four, and the Francis Charging Network added one. Let's get into the data. First, Mercedes-Benz. I showed all their stations just for discussion purposes here. As you can see, the last two are the new ones, uh, Calhoun, Georgia, and Springfield, Missouri. They are using Alpitronic hardware, but ChargePoint is being used for the back-end processing. So apparently ChargePoint can be used for other vendors' hardware. I didn't know that, and it looks as though Mercedes-Benz has elected to continue to use ChargePoint as their back-end provider. The new station is here in Springfield, Missouri. It's at a Bucky's. You can see there's only two stalls, which is unusual, so I'm assuming the other stations, the other uh, stalls at this station are just waiting to be commissioned. Pilot Flying J added six. I actually know of an additional one in Orange, Texas on I-10, but it'll be in next week, so I'm assuming. A couple to call out here. Two in Oklahoma City opened simultaneously on the same day. Schulenburg, Texas. Rochelle, Illinois, I think is the second one in the state of Illinois. And McCalla, Alabama, which is the third one in the state of Alabama. Loves has Slippery Rock PA, but it should be noted when Jonestown PA showed up in the database, it actually wasn't open for customers. Love still had it coned off, and I'm not sure if Slippery Rock is in a similar state where it's actually commissioned but not available for use with customers yet. Like there might still be some construction going on or something, but it is in the database and it does show on the ChargePoint app. So if it's not available for customers now, it likely will be shortly. Tesla added four, 128 stall in Birmingham, Alabama. I'm looking for a very large expansion that Brandon Flash did a video in my home state of North Carolina in a town called Halifax off Interstate 95. They expanded to 60 stalls and it's still not showing up in the Alternative Fuels Data Center database. And I've been watching for a couple weeks, but we'll see when that one pops in. Still, four stations. Electrify America added two, one Evolve New York, four stall in Horsehead, New York, and a Las Vegas station with six stalls. And here's ChargePoint. Should be noted that Google added their stations into the Alternative Fuels Data Center database. I'm guessing they're making them public. And besides the DC fast charger, they also added about 50 rows of level two chargers. So I'm guessing if you can get on the property, you could use their chargers. Um, lots of um, companies allow their employees to use chargers and also guests. And it looks like Google is now falling into that category. This other one here, Mayberry, Massachusetts, 10 stalls, is a pretty large install. And this is what it looks like. There's no pictures in PlugShare yet, but just the satellite view shows some um, solar voltaic covered parking spaces at a municipal um, Mayberry materials handling. I don't know if that's municipal or not, but... Um, anyway, 10 stalls is pretty significant. I thought I'd call that one out. And here's the one in EVgo that I actually believe is the one that opened in the past week. is eight stalls in Laredo Ranch, California. EV Connect added two, and this one here is 40 stalls in El Segundo, California. When I looked it up on the map, it is a parking garage, and there does look to be an existing EV Connect station. So I'm thinking they're getting ready to expand. It says general pre-commissioned units. So I'm guessing they're getting ready to expand the existing station rather significantly. And the Rivian Adventure Network added four. As I said, that's pretty significant for them. They're... Um, their activity had really died down, but apparently what they were doing is they were queuing up a bunch of stations with the new hardware and getting ready to open those um, after the Joshua Tree was completed. Because once Joshua Tree completed, they started in rather rapid succession to open stations. And this week we have four additional ones. Normal, Illinois, Gardner, 
Montana, Bozeman, Montana, and Erie, Pennsylvania. And Francis opened one, four stalls in Resudio, New Mexico, as I believe how it's pronounced. Thanks for watching.